I'm going to share with you how you can get free unlimited snort effects using Pinterest. I'm also going to show you how I can actually apply those effects to your image using Photoshop. Let's drop right into it. So the first thing you have to do is to come to any browser and come to your search bar and your search for Pinterest.com to get to open. So if you don't have an account, you have to create an account with them or you can just log in using your Gmail. So just come to your search bar right here and just search for optical snort effects. So I'm going to search on it again. Optical snort effect and click on enter and just go to open. So just click on any one you like. So I'm going to click on this first one right here. It's just going to open for me. So once you open one like this, to get unlimited, just scroll all the way down and you're going to see similar snoot effects like this. You're going to see different snoot effects you want. So just choose on any one you want. So if I click on this one right here and I scroll all the way down, it's just going to show me similar to that snoot effect. So like this, you can get unlimited snoot effects. So just keep scrolling down until you see the one you actually like. So I like this butterfly right here. This one right here so i actually downloaded this so once you see anyone you like and you want to download it just click on this three dots right here and just click on download image i just going to download to your pc now let me show you how you can actually apply it inside the photoshop after you've downloaded it just come to your photoshop so after you've done your screen touching just make a selection of this subject so you can basically choose any selection you want so after this object selection tool so once you select this object selection tool or any selection tool you are going to see select subjects at the top so you can either click select subject and go to select subject for you or you can just drag this object selection to around a subject like this and just going to make a selection of the subject for you all right so we've selected the subject now you can choose to zoom in and just make your selection even more perfect but i think i'm going to leave it like this all right after making the selection of our subject pay close attention next thing i'm going to do i'm going to invert the selection and select only my background and not the subject so to invert the selection I'm going to press up Ctrl Shift I. And right now, you can see the selection has been inverted and now our background is selected. Now, what I'm going to do to cut out the survey from the background, I'm going to press up Ctrl J. And right now, if I just turn off this layer right here and this background layer, you can see the subject is no longer on the background. We have just our background layer. But I'm just going to turn this layer back on. Now, for better understanding, I'm just going to rename this layer subjects and name this layer background which is the one we just cut out okay now pay close attention this is where a lot of people actually missed it so right now we want to bring back the selection and select only our subject and add the layer marks so make sure your subject layer is selected and not the background layer so with your subject layer selected we want to bring back that selection so instead of going back to your object selection tree again and just selecting the subjects like this instead of repeating that process what you can do with your subject layer selected just hold control and click on the background layer I just going to bring back that selection now that we've brought back the selection right now we want the selection to be on the subject and not the background so we have to invert the selection again now to invert just press your ctrl shift i to invert the selection so right now you can see only the subject is selected right now now i'm just going to add a layer mask to the selection to hide the subject instead of just removing the subject from the background now to add the layer mask just come down to your layer mask right here and with your subject layer selected just click on layer mask and just going to hide the subject with this layer mask now next thing i'm going to do after adding the layer mask i'm just going to drag this background layer below the subject layer like this all right now it's time to actually bring that snooze effect which we downloaded earlier inside of photoshop and actually apply it to this image to do that i'm just going to come to my download and this is the butterfly downloaded so i'm just going to drag it and just drop it inside of photoshop like this now pay close attention i just want to select only the butterfly edges as a snoot effect i don't want to select the other elements all right now to do that i'll come back to my object selection tool again and just make a rough selection around the first butterfly like this i'm just going to select only that butterfly for me as you can see now i'm going to add this part to the selection by holding on shift and just click and drag this part to the selection to add those parts to the selection like so all right now I want to add this other butterfly to the selection. I'm going to hold shift again and just click and drag this other butterfly to the selection like this. All right, so we've selected only the butterflies as you can see. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to press our Ctrl C to copy only the selection. So once I press our Ctrl C, it's going to copy only the selection. I'm going to press our Ctrl C and come back to this image, which I want to paste it on and just press on Ctrl V to paste. So once I paste it, I'm just going to press on Ctrl T to bring the transform tool and just increase the size like this. 
all right i'm going to click on okay now you can see it's above the subject layer so what we're going to do we're just going to click and drag it and put it below the subject layer to put it at the back just like that all right okay now you can see it's at the back of the subject layer because we drag it down so i'm going to rename this layer snoot all right i'm just going to resize it until i feel it's okay so i feel it's too big i'm going to take it down a little bit like this all right so i feel like this works for me i'm going to click on okay now from here what i'm going to do i'm going to change the blend mode of this note effect from normal to scray just like this i click on okay now what i'm going to do for me to make it look even more realistic i'm going to come to my filter i'm going to come to my blur and i'm going to come to gaussian blur like so all right so from here i can just choose to play with the blur radius until i feel it okay but don't take it but don't take it up too much it's not going to look good as you can see just take it to a decent number you feel it's okay so i see nine works for me for this image 9.2 i'm going to click on okay so this is the before and this is the after now you can stop here if you want to but i'm going to take this a step further so let me show you i can actually change the color to make it look even more beautiful all right so to change the color of this note effect we are going to use a solid color adjustment layer and clip it to this note effect right here now to do that just come to your adjustment layer right here and click on solid color so from here you can just choose any color you want so let's choose white or red for now i'm going to click on ok now you can see it's affecting the whole background layer but we want it to affect only this note effect so to do that we have to clip it to this note layer right here so to clip it just hold alternate and you're going to see this clip icon i just clip it to this note effect like this so you can see right now it's affecting only this note effect but it's also not looking realistic all right now with this solid color layer selected just change the blend from normal to either multiply or darken and see which one actually works for you so i think multiply actually works for me so i'm going to click on multiply now you can see it's looking more a lot more realistic but i really don't like the colors i'm getting now to change the color just double click on this red color right here and just move this slider down like this until you get a color which you actually like so i feel this color right here actually works for me i like this color so much so i'm gonna leave it at this color and maybe take it make it darker a little bit like this and click on okay so i feel like this works for me so this is the before and this is the after the before and the after and from here you can just group both like this and just reduce the opacity if you want just to make it look more realistic so this is the before and the after the before and the after now let's try one more snoot effect and just hide this now another way to bring your snoot effect inside of photoshop just come to your home right here and just click on open and just look for where you download this snoot effect so let's use this one right here so this one right here i'm going to click on it and just click on open right here i'm just going to open inside of photoshop so what i can do from here i can just press or ctrl c to copy the whole image or i can just choose this my object selection tool again and just make a selection of this note effect like this and just push your ctrl c to copy so once i copy it i'm going to come back to this image right here and just press our ctrl v to paste so once i paste it you can see you're not seeing it right now it's because it's behind the subject layer so if I just take it above the subject layer, you are going to see it right here. So I'm going to press Ctrl T to bring back the transform tool and just drag it up like this and click on OK. Now I'm going to take it behind or below the subject layer. So I'm going to take it below the subject layer like this to bring it at the back. And from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the blend from normal to screen. And from here, I can just to make it big if I want. So like this and click on okay let's just blur it a little bit so come back to your filter click on blur and come to Gaussian blur and just blur it a little bit like so and click on okay this is the before and the after you can choose to change the color if you want as well come to your adjustment layer click on solid color adjustment layer choose any color for now click on okay so next we're going to do we're just going to clip this color to this note effect you just hold alternate and just make sure you're in the middle between this layer one which is this note effect and this color fill layer which is this color layer and just hold alternate and it's going to show the clipping mask icon and just click on it like this to clip it so you can see right now it's affecting only this note effect 
so from here just change the blend of this color layer from normal to multiply all right and just change the color by double clicking on the color layer and just change it to any color you actually want like so so i feel this color also works on me i'm going to click on ok and from here i'm just going to reduce the opacity a little bit like so all right and just group them and this is the before and the after so the before and the after the before and the after so these are you can actually get unlimited smooth effects and actually applies to your email using photoshop if you want to learn how to retouch your images check out this playlist right here i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative